Fixed leg platforms traditionally have been used offshore, but they're impractical in more than 1,500 feet of water. As operations in the Gulf of Mexico moved into deeper waters, it became necessary to develop alternative platform and rig designs to get to oil and gas. Most of these new designs involve floating structures anchored to the seafloor in various ways. Tension leg platforms, for example, use several steel tendons in each leg anchored to the seafloor. These platforms actually float on the surface. The lower cost of these alternative designs enables the development of smaller fields, adding to our nation's reserves of oil and natural gas. There are more than 4,000 platforms operating in the Gulf of Mexico. Platforms are also valuable for providing a habitat for underwater marine life. Shellfish and sea vegetation grow on the lakes, creating an artificial reef. Studies have found that the number of fish can be anywhere from 20 to 50 times greater around these platforms than in nearby open waters. As a result, the waters around offshore platforms are a favorite location of recreational and commercial fishermen. To preserve these valuable marine habitats, federal and state governments have established what's called rigs to reefs programs. Platforms that no longer produce oil and gas are lowered to the bottom to create permanent artificial reefs for the marine life to sustain itself. 